Hello science people. Today we're going to do a lab. This involves powdered milk, water, two spoons, and an eyedropper. And the point is watch how different amounts of water affect the rehydration of the powdered milk. So this one, A, B, C, D, they're in exactly in order, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's our water. So this one to this one. This is going to have the most liquid. This one's just going to be a big giant glob. It's going to be really fun. So, let's get started. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take this beaker, we're just going to pour in amounts of water and use the spoon to stir it. Okay, we'll do the same with this one. Different amount. These are different size speakers, so <coughs> same water may not be in each one. Now, beaker C. And finally, beaker D. We're just going to put a really tiny amount of water in this one. We're going to watch. So as we're stirring, notice how it starts to form a giant glob. Notice how it looks a little bit like the consistency of melted ice cream. Or it could just look like milk milk is parts of most of ice cream. So let's get back to the beakers. As you can see we have our four beakers and our water which we can go into this out. We'll do that later. But all of these are from the same stuff. Water and powdered milk. The point is how much water and how much powdered milk you put in affects the consistency and the taste. So, I'm just going to taste this one. I don't know what it's going to taste like. It's definitely milk. It's a bit like skim milk. Now, one well, with not as much water. It has a lot of flavor. I like that one. This one. Hmm. Not as good as those two. And this one. Don't eat it though. Just taste it. Just okay. lick it. You don't want to swallow it. It has some taste, but you wouldn't know if it was milk if they just gave you this. So, let's clean up.
science people, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.